If you're Donald Trump and the expectations are high and you have a Des Moines Register poll that shows you running away with it, you do not want to disappoint those expectations. That's why many are reading the former president's criticism of Vivek Ramaswamy as not being MAGA material as a signal that he wants to win. And not only win, to win big. Well, that remains to be seen right now, but it's a lead that maybe he does want to see padded. Ben Carson joins me right now, the 2016 presidential candidate who took him on and gave him a run for his money during that campaign. Later, he went to join his cabinet as a housing and urban development secretary. He kind enough to join me right now. Uh, ben, good to see you. Thank you, Nils. Good to be with you again. Um, let me ask you, I know in, in a speech on his behalf, uh, you know, in, in a Davenport church, you had said about him, the thing about Donald Trump, I will admit that sometimes he, he says some pretty weird things, but you have to watch what he does. What did you mean by that? Well, you know, politicians frequently have a silver tongue and they say all the right things, but they don't carry through with them. In the case of uh, Donald Trump, Sometimes he says things that irritate people, uh, but you have to look at his policies. Case in point, uh, you know, in 2016, the evangelicals were very skeptical of him. I remember getting calls from uh, some very big names in the evangelical movement saying, are you crazy? You can't possibly be uh, saying anything good about this guy. But those people are all supporting him now because they've seen what he did the kind of appointments that he made in the judicial system. So those are the kinds of things that, that people need to watch for. And that's why Americans recognize that he was a very good president and did amazing things for our economy. Uh, we were energy independent. We had border under control. Uh, we had safe cities. I mean, we were respected on the world stage. People want to get back to that once again. And when he talks about America first, it doesn't mean that we don't care about any other people. It means, like, when you get on the airplane and they say, in case of an emergency, your mask will drop down, put yours on first, and then help your neighbor. If we're not healthy, how in the world can we be helpful to anyone else? So let me ask you, though, Secretary, I mean, a lot of people can't get over the personal behavior, stop the name calling, the insults, and all of that. And I talked to a good many of them and said, look, uh, if, if he's our nominee, we're just not there. We're not supporting him. We might not vote at all or might leave the presidential thing, uh, you know, blank uh, or vote even for Joe Biden. How does he get over that hump? Well, you know, you, you, you think about the Bible and uh, King David. Uh, most of those people probably, if they were alive back in those days, would have said, oh, what a horrible guy. You know, the episode with Bathsheba and some of the other right. things that he did. And yet, he was a man after God's own heart. God uses different people for different times. You need somebody with a Manhattan business type of uh, personality to deal with the administrative state. You know, there are some real wolves in that Manhattan business environment. And to succeed in that, uh, you don't just kind of be a flowery, nice person, necessarily. No. That doesn't mean he can't be. I've seen him. Uh, when he's not being attacked, he's a wonderful person. Everybody, I think, would love him. Um, but just to be clear, uh, you're comparing him to King David? I, I, the you're volume is very low. To, you're, 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 oh, okay, now. I'm sorry. You are, just to put it up for the record, you're comparing him to King David. and. And that worked out well for King David, and that this is another King David, right? I don't know about him king, uh, but uh, certainly he has some policies that are very worthwhile. And the other okay. thing, Neil, that must be mentioned, if the left is allowed to use the DOJ to, de to, to hurt him and to eliminate him from the process, then that's when we lose democracy. Um, are you interested in running with him? Your name is always on that short list of potential uh, VP picks that he would consider if he were to become the nominee. He says he's made up his mind already and has decided. Uh, can you tell us anything? Uh, I can tell you that uh, my concentration is to make sure that we get in place a leader who can help to salvage this country. Uh, everything else is a distraction. Uh, so, if I may distract one more time, has he talked to you about running with him, ever? 
Uh, we've had lots of conversations, but uh, I would be uh, remiss to divulge those. Fair enough. Uh, ben Carson, very good seeing you again. Always appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.